to the Middle East 35 years ago and most of the other artists I knew were men so I came from a very male dominated structure society to live where women were actually given quite a high place in society which I wasn't expecting coming from the West and I realized that I was going to be working a lot with women and it was a turning point in my life because I was working with women very independent, had their own lives and it was a whole new world for me to enter and those women were kind enough to allow me not just to view their world but to enter into it and take part of it because I was very uh, interested in motifs that were used specifically in the Middle East on necklaces, on adornment silver objects uh, and they were similar marks from Yemen, Oman, Jordan, Syria and I became fascinated in these very, very dense, heavy structures where the women would actually be carrying their wealth on their necks. And textiles became very important to me as something different. I was trained as a sculptor and a painter, so to use textiles was almost like you were entering into craft. It was that division and the concept textiles around the body was very much from the 1980s and I rethought fashion then from an artist's point of view and also although I was trained as a sculptor I really loved the idea of concept art because I was late 60s in art college so it was the idea of concepts concepts were more important and to see people wearing concept art I like you I really women will start to explore and men who they are more and let clothes be something that's a vehicle for their own identity rather than the identity being imposed upon them. The art that I do is not necessarily to be worn. It's not necessarily about the clothing. The top designers and the, the world of fashion, high fashion, has influenced my work. But I am not a clothes designer, I am not a fashion designer, and the wearing of my clothes is secondary to me. I rarely show anything on a mannequin. The, the object, the woman, the Emra, the very essence of woman is obvious in her absence. But the whole idea of the tea bags not having tea, the clothing not here, having the woman. This idea of what should be there but isn't there becomes stronger. A tea bag without tea is more a tea bag than a tea bag with tea. It's the promise of something coming. For me, repetition of imagery. Uh, I studied for my master's medieval art. Which the, uh, for my degree in medieval art, which then led on to Islamic studies. And I became fascinated with the idea of repeating imagery. This idea that as you keep on repeating and repeating, you go through the surface, which is an illusion. All to me, the surface is an illusion. It's what actually happens underneath that matters to me. Although the Japanese have Ma, which is which we don't have in Western art and culture, which is the spaces in between, not negative space in the West, but the spaces in between is where everything happens, allowing these periods of rest to seek. And in Islamic art, the more and more an image was repeated in its simplicity, the more you went through the image, through the surface. And for me, the hand stitching, and I'm not, was never very domesticated or anything like that. I wouldn't have known how to sew a button on before this. But it was a challenge, and doing it myself allowed me to go into this slow repetition so that I was creating a multiplicity of images. The folding, the twisting, and then the, the hand stitching. And like, 
if each dress has, you know, 1,500 pieces, you get into this slow meditation things. And I'm quite hyper at times. So there is something very beautiful about the stillness. And although I can be, you know, 100% on the go when I'm out, when I'm in the studio, it's a very still place. And I work on my own and it allows this calmness and gentleness. And if, the, if I'm going through the units to find what really matters to me, I'm hoping that the viewer can get this sense as they stand in front of the works. As I sort of alluded to earlier, I believe in multiple units. Only because if you only have one, you will place too much attention on the one and get absorbed in the one. Whereas if you have multiple units, it's not the strength, it's actually to allow you to go through the surface of the multiple units. So for me, the repetition, initially you go dress, and then you see more, and then you might think woman, and then you just would think white, and then you just go through it into the spiritual essence of the human state, of woman herself, of her own identity. Circles to me, from I have been, I started off dancing before I went to art. And there's something beautiful about turning, this losing yourself. And because I've been very influenced by the poetry of Rumi and this whole idea of the turn and the circle, this losing yourself within the turn. And when you're making circles and creating circles, you find you're getting lost in this. And to me, a spiral, it's like a labyrinth, not a maze, which is the opposite of a labyrinth, but this idea that you are contained, uh, you are not contained, you are free by this spiral, which is only a curved circle. But there's something about continually turning and turning and turning. And the circle allows this. It allows you to move within the artwork. It'd be it would be so arrogant to dismiss one art form from your own view as to say, well, fashion doesn't matter. And also, fashion is also clothing, which is the very essence of human beings. Clothing and adornment, wherever, whichever remote island you go to, we have clothing and adornment with food as man's basics to keep him going. Your space is somewhere that I feel very good in. It, it lifts my spirit when I go in. It's dark and then you're into it. And it, it fills my imagination. It's not necessarily sadly that I buy everything, but it makes me come home. I always want to go back to the studio and work after I've been in cartel. And so the opportunity to place my works in, a, in an environment that was stimulating for me made me feel that the viewer would also get this feeling that the context because i do a lot of installations so space matters it's not just displaying your works it's having a space that is sensitive and as you curate the space of cartel i trusted your judgment with the other artist i didn't know who the other artist was initially but once you saw, told me her name and the works the, because our work seemed to me so different and yet so similar with the whole idea of another skin with clothing and the body taken out of it and the harshness and the softness in some ways and yet hers are also very soft and mine could be very hard with the feathers. I just love the duality and the whole, there's a dialectic of energy between two opposing viewpoints that actually creates a similarity and I'm hoping that the viewer would get that.